Coronavirus 2019 is now a pandemic, according to the World Health Organization. Panic and fear will not help, but careful preparation will. This is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. I'm Tom Salt, a medical doctor and functional medicine practitioner. I'm Elizabeth, a registered nurse and health coach. You've heard some scary statistics about this COVID-19 virus, but it's not as bad as you think. We have data from three areas, China, Italy, and South Korea. The problem is that to get a good idea about the severity, you need to know both the total number of cases and the death rate. In China and Italy, we know the death rate, but the total number of cases has been harder to pin down. Remember, at least 80% of COVID-19 cases are mild. If you happen to be walking around with what seems like an annoying cold, it's unlikely that you would get tested. So the total number of cases are underreported. But in South Korea, we have a much better idea of the total cases because they instituted drive-through testing early on. Well, you may have heard that the death toll in China is something like 3% or in Italy as high as 6%. That's because of underestimation of the total cases. In South Korea, the death toll is about 0.6%. And that number is likely an overestimation because again, if you're walking around with an annoying cold, you may not bother to get tested. So our best estimate is that the upper extreme of mortality from this illness is about 0.6% of cases, and 80% of cases are mild. To put this into perspective, the regular old flu has a death rate of a, between 0.1 and 0.2% every year. So while worse than the flu, it is not hundreds of times worse. I think the clearest thinking on this is coming from Dr. Amish Adalo out of John Hopkins University. Look him up for more information. You may have heard it called coronavirus, coronavirus disease 2019, COVID-19, and even SARS COVID-19. They are all the same thing. There is currently no vaccine to prevent COVID-19. The best way to prevent illness is to avoid being exposed. The virus is thought to spread mainly from person to person between people who are in close contact with one another. Respiratory droplets are produced when an infected person coughs or sneezes. These droplets can travel about six feet. While the virus has been reported in the stools of infected individuals, no cases of fecal oral transmission have been reported for COVID-19 to date. Steps to prevent illness. Clean your hands. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. So that's, that's a long time. Always, after you have been in public or blow your nose or cough or sneeze, wash your hands. If soap and water are not available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Cover all surfaces of your hands and rub them until they feel dry. Avoid touching mucous membranes. The obvious is your face, eyes, nose, mouth, but also vagina and anus. Avoid contact with people who are sick. Keep about six feet between yourself and other people if COVID-19 is spreading in your community. Take these steps to protect others. These steps are not unique to COVID-19. We should all be doing these things anytime we are sick. Stay home if you're sick. If you must go out while sick, use a mask or cloth over your face to prevent respiratory droplets from traveling. Cover your mouth and nose with a tissue when you cough or sneeze, or use the inside of your elbow like this, rather than your hands, to prevent contamination of your hands. Throw out tissues into the trash immediately. Do not reuse tissues. Don't stuff them in your sleeve like my mother used to do. Immediately after a cough, sneeze, or wiping your nose, wash your hands or use a sanitizer. If you are sick, you should wear a face mask when you are around other people and before entering a healthcare facility. 
If you are not sick, the use of a face mask is less helpful. Masks are to protect others from you. Like a surgeon's mask is to protect the patient from the surgeon. A respirator, not a mask, is to protect the wearer. A respirator with an N95 or better rating is recommended if you choose to use a respirator. However, you must also protect your eyes. It is recommended that you use a respirator if you are caring for someone who is ill. Clean and disinfect frequently touched surfaces at least daily or any time they have been contaminated. Clean away any soil or debris first with soap and water, then most EPA registered household disinfectants will work against COVID-19. You can make a disinfectant bleach solution using five tablespoons or one third cup of bleach per gallon of water or four teaspoons of bleach per quart of water. A 70% alcohol solution will also disinfect. Functional medicine recommendations. Sleep at least seven to nine hours per night. Sleep is vital to a strong immune response. Exercise and movement are also important to a good immune system. Try to stay active. Nutrition is also important. Avoid sugar. Sugar has been shown in several studies to be an immune suppressant. But remember to stay on your whole foods diet. Stress management can also improve your immune response. Use prayer, meditation, gratitude, mindfulness, or other stress management practices. Relationships can have a soothing effect on your system. Stay tuned to your emotional state and be open and vulnerable to your loved ones. Now for some supplement recommendations. These recommendations are a suggestion to support your immune system. They are not proven to prevent, treat, or cure the illness. However, it's what we're doing. See the description below for links. As a baseline, use our challenged men or women's packets. They contain a high potency multi-mineral multivitamin with phytonutrient blend, fish oil, and zinc, and our fruit and vegetable powder that provides the antioxidant and phytonutrient power of 20 servings of fruits and vegetables. This will provide a comprehensive mix of essential nutrients, phytonutrients, omega-3 fatty acids, and um, really ensure sufficiency. Our Immune Severe package includes additional fish oil, immune support, a medical mushroom blend, and vitamin D, 50,000 IUs per week. A balanced immune response is important to prevent overinflammation. Extra fish oil in this package provides insurance against the overproduction of inflammatory factors. Immune Vigilance provides a medical mushroom blend that has been shown to support overall immunity. And vitamin D has been shown in several studies to improve antiviral defenses. And we suggest Immunity Pro, a baker's yeast extract containing beta-glucan. This has been shown to support both innate and adaptive immune function. According to a clinical study, older adults taking Immunity Pro reported a 16% decrease in total upper respiratory tract infection days. A four-week clinical study demonstrated that stressed women take Immunity Pro were 62% less likely to develop a URI. At the first sign of any illness, we also recommend using Biocidin LSF, two pumps, two times per day for 14 days. It contains a mix of broad spectrum herbal support, liposomal delivery for immediate systemic absorption and bioavailability. It delivers intracellular absorption of ingredients and includes botanicals to assist detoxification pathways and to address inflammation. Consider adding meso silver, a type of colloidal silver, one tablespoon two times a day for 14 days. Nanoparticle silver has been shown in several studies to have broad antiviral activity. While not proven treatment or prevention or cure for COVID-19, it may help support the immune response. Some studies suggest that silver particles can compete with the virus for binding to sites on human cells. And remember, don't panic. Fear is counterproductive. If you feel yourself becoming overwhelmed by the situation, turn off the television, 
Put down the social media. Take a moment just to remind yourself of where you're at and what you can do from where you're at. Follow the steps recommended. And remember, stress also suppresses your immune system. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. These recommendations are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. This has been Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. We'll see you next time. Bye.